Alrighty, now we're back, and I picked up a couple of extra things, and this is what our flowers turned out like so far. I really like that, don't you? It's nice and big, it's all lacy, and we've got our little pops around the edge, and I've decided I want to put another stick pin in there. So guys, what I've done is I've got a piece of this gorgeous necklace left off, and I've put a little pearl drop uh, pendant down on the very bottom of it. It had a jump ring and everything, so I went ahead and put that together. And uh, that's going on our stick pin. So this is what I'm using, guys. I've got a like an off blue to shoot off of this piece right here, which is a little bit off blue. And it's just a stick pin head corsage pin. Uh, you can get these with the pearls already on them. I really like these. I like using them a lot. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm just going to start out with the rondelle here on this end. One of these pretty round jeweled ones. I love these, don't you? And I'm just going to put that piece right on there. Just like that. And then I'm going to sandwich it. Am I? I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to sandwich it or not. Let's just see if we can find a little tiny pearl in here. I'm going to go for a gold pearl. That's a better fit. And guys, again, just use what you have. You know, if you don't have these items, just look around and see what you do have. I don't like buying beads and stuff. Any of you, the guys that know me, know that. I take apart jewelry necklaces and stuff. I go over to the thrift stores and look for great deals on bagfuls of old uh, vintage necklaces and stuff. And I just take them apart. And guys, all I'm doing is layering this on here real quick so I can see what it looks like. And I'm going a little bit bigger with each one. I keep grabbing that same one. Come back here. And I like that right there. I think that is perfect. And we've got our gold going on. So what I'm going to do, guys, is grab my trusty E6000. And right up here at the top, I'm going to let these roll down a little bit. And right up here at the top, I'm going to put a little, possibly if I can get it to come out of the tube, a little droplet there. And smoosh that up there and wipe off that excess. And then, the bottom bead, I think I'm going to end it with a tiny one. So I'm going to put another little droplet and put the littlest bead on the bottom. Okay, and let that set for a few minutes and dry. And there is our dangle that's going in the center of this flower here, okay? And I've got it turned upside down for you guys again so that you can see. And I'm just simply going to lay this over to the side here and let it dry, okay? Now I want to dress the corners and I want to put a little bit of something in behind here. And I have decided to go with this beautiful iridescence. Y'all catching that on this? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it in to me here. Because I just want to cut certain little pops off of this. Like these little flowers right there I'm going for right here. So that's all I'm going to do is cut this off. I know, isn't this awful? <laughs> Back in the day, there's no way I could have cut this up, honey. I'd have been out clubbing in this. Love it. I was that girl. The shiny stuff, the Stevie Nicks look, honey, I'm all over it. I still dress like that. <laughs> Not the club wear no more, but I still dress in my old boho. Y'all have seen me on here. I love it. My shirts and stuff are probably 30, 40 years old, and I'm still wearing them. There, now I've got a, isn't that pretty right there? I love that cut. And I just want to place these around. I just want to try to cut that up just a little bit. So, I'm going to check and see how they look. And I like that back there. So if I like that back there, I'm going to go ahead and fabric that down. Or I'm going to 
pull it back out. And <laughs> How's you guys' is coming along? I bet it's looking good, good, good. I hope I get to see it. Take a picture or something and shoot it to me. Nothing else if you don't want to film. I'd love to see what y'all come up with. And like I said, this is a, a quick way to make a book. And uh, these placemats are a gold mine, really. Because they're lined. They're already made out of fabric. They make wonderful pages. There we go. There's one. Here's one right here. go right here in this corner with this one. Possibly. This one a little bit big. You might have to play around with it. I don't mind playing around with them a little bit. Yeah, I like that. I'm trying to get it right under my layers. I always like to do this last, though, instead of doing it at the beginning, because, you know, you don't know really how you want stuff placed sometimes until you get to looking at it. And you're like, ooh, that needs a little something right there. Okay. I love these little lace dresses and stuff. Boy, I bet somebody really loved this back in the day and probably wore this everywhere and I come along and got it and have cut it to pieces <laughs> I think this one here I'm going to trim down a little bit more I'm just going to take that center I really am loving that iridescence I'm crazy about iridescence y'all mm. That multicolor changing boy it just drives me nuts I love it I like that nestled right up underneath that so I think we're gonna put that there now, I don't want to cover up all my velvet you know and all my lace but it just needs a little bit more there we go I like that, and I need one more. I think that bottom, I'm going to take this little one right here. I'm finding all kinds of sizes of these now. <laughs> Isn't it funny? You get to cutting these up, and then you get to seeing stuff, you know? But yeah, you guys, uh, make the thrift stores your buds. Get out there and look. Always be on the lookout for beaded and this sequin stuff that the girls used to wear back in the 70s and 80s and um, transmigrated into your art because these pieces are just gorgeous this has even got pearls on it and everything these do in the middle all right Look, that just transmigrated that into a whole new thing there, didn't it? I just love that. And then down this middle, in the up against the spine there, I'm thinking about doing one of these little swirl things. I don't know, let's see.
I get it to quit twisting. I'm sorry, guys. I'm again when I'm cutting, I got to get it right up to me. This intricate cutting, anyways, or I'll cut it to pieces. And I got that piece cut off. Now let's see what we can do with it. And then we'll cover that up if we do that. But we can run that piece right through there as an extra little top there. I like that. Just go ahead and cut that off right there. Give that a little bit of glue. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. There. when it starts sticking to your fingers, you know, it'll start sticking to your fingers. I should have brought me a rag in here. I always get you a damp wash rag or something to bring because you get this stuff on your fingers and it's like, really? It will not come off. And then right around that. piece of this right up here on this top just to add a little bit more pizzazz what do y'all think I think we want some pizzazz we love pizzazz don't we next time I come in here I think I'm going to bring some of my Stevie Nicks. I was back there watching my video earlier and I've got Don't hide behind your head. I got that in my head. <laughs> I love her, don't you? Love my Stevie. And then I need a little bit more right there. So I think that piece is going to do it. And I'm going to really trim that up. I'm just going to finish that piece right there. Yeah. What do you think? What do you think? I think that's starting to look pretty good, ain't you? And right up under here, I think I want to get rid of this last. Ooh, I'm going to have to re-glue that. I'm sitting here talking about this fabric tack and I'm getting crappy results. <laughs> a little bit, possibly, because it's all stuck to my hand again. There. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to get this laid back down. And let me drag out the E6000 on you now. <laughs> That's generally what I use, really, is my E6000 more than anything. But I've got turned on to this Fabri-Tac. There. I think that looks pretty good, don't you guys, right there? Yeah. 
needed some more, you know, just something else. I like that in the background. Now then, I think on each one of these corners up here on this top, I'm going to put one of these little um, horsely and thymines. to put I think right dead in the center of it I'm going to put one of these these are just those little pearls you get them on a roll I love them I use them a lot All right, and then the other side. This one's really tall, isn't it? Put this one up here. See, one thing it sticks to your fingers really good. There we go. I like that. Okay. Now then. Get these pearls on here. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. There. All right. We got some pearls hanging down and some little diamonds up there. And I keep thinking I want to do a little bit of iridescence up there. I think I will. And these again are these little iris iridescent pearls. I just love these things. stick into that and if I wanted you to stick to that it wouldn't is that the way it goes there that looks good all right now let's get the other side done And then I'm not using Fabri-Tac on the gems. I do believe I might even want to put one of these little Simons up here on this top. Let's see if I can get my E6000 out. There we go. I got a nice bead there. There we go. I think that looks good to finish that. Okay. 
Okay. And then these jewel pops. This is going to be just loaded with these jewel pops. I love them. Love them. Again, this was one of them necklaces that I got. Junkin' thrift storing. And I think I give a dollar for it. And I just cut it to pieces and I've been using it on everything. that dry real good and that, that's coming out pretty good don't you think I like that and finish those corners you know them corners were bugging me so we had to do something about them <laughs> I love all the multi jewels on here anyways I don't think you can ever get too much dang bling I just love it <laughs> Jewel it up. All right, now the bottom down here. I'm just gonna go with these little shorties. About right there. And the rest of this iridescent. Right in the center of that. couple of diamonds on the bottom I'm just kind of going in 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 the inside middles And then I have two more somewhere. Oh no, I decided to go with roses down there. That's right. So it wouldn't be a jewel in every single corner, you know. I think those will look good there. cover everything back up again okay and then the rose buds I don't like that and then all of that will have to dry of course we're just about done with this page I think it's been a lot of blinged up fun, don't you? <laughs> I had a blingy good time. Let those dry. 
All right, now then, let's finish off our, our uh, stick pin. Let's get that stuck into our flower. And once this dries overnight, it'll be sensational. We'll view it good next time, but I really think that that is good. And that is done, you guys. What do you think? I think that is just lovely. Our homemade flower. The bottoms, the trim. Everything turned out so beautiful, don't you think? And again, like I said, I'm going to let this dry good overnight. And then we'll view this first thing. But we've got a beautiful dangle trim hanging off of this gorgeous flower that we've layered up. Our corners look wonderful. Our trim looks good. I think this turned out super gorgeous. So guys, make sure you come back for the next page. The next page, we're going to put one another one of our Gypsy Queens down. Okay, so I hope to see you then.